Hey, welcome back to the Board Game Closet. My name is Jimmy. I'm Tim. And today we're going to take a look at Flux. Place two to six people in about 30 minutes, and uh, it's put out by Looney Labs. Uh, in Flux, it is a draw one, play one card game, and the rules start out really simple. That's the rules that yep. you start out with. Draw one, play one, and then as you play cards, the rules, the goals, the winning conditions change constantly. Yeah. Constantly, right? Constantly. Okay, so um, component-wise, do you want to talk about what you get in the box? Uh, well, really, all you get, you get cards. It's a card game. That's it. You, I, I mean, they're for the, what they are, they're they're thin cards, but they're they're playable. Um, I would I wouldn't put card sleeves on these. I would not no. put card sleeves on these. Yeah. So the, like I mean, the component-wise, it's just it's just cards. So yeah. um, you can't you're not going to expect uh, anything else in the box. So the price kind of matches that. So yeah. All right. Tell us about the rules. How hard or easy is it to learn flux? <laughs> this this game. I I don't even know why they needed really to have rules because <laughs> <laughs> because it's it's literally you you play this first card and that's how you learn the game. It's like. This, that one card goes down the table, everybody has their starting hand, and you just go from there. This does a great job of explaining that in detail. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in fact, the back, back of it is only Q&A. Wow. Just frequently asked questions on, how, on, on playing combinations of, of cards on it. Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's a really simple game to learn. Yep. Totally. So how do you play it? Like what we said, you draw one and play one. And so the flavor of the game is that there are all different kinds of cards that you can draw. So let's talk about the kind of draw cards that you can draw. So there are action cards. And so action cards, you would play down and it, you just do whatever the action says on it. So it could be take another turn. It could be exchange something. It could be take a card from someone. It could be yeah. draw a couple cards and use them or take cards out of the discard pile, whatever it is. There are keeper cards. And so keeper cards are the items that you have to have in order to win the game. And so you have to have certain keeper cards and then there are goal cards. And so like this particular one says a lullaby, you have to have the sleep and music keeper. So yeah. you have to have these two cards, those two cards in your hand. Or played on the table. Or played yeah, on, yeah, I'm sorry. Play area. Yeah, it's gotta be played on the table. And if you have those cards and it meets that goal condition, then you win the game. The problem is on anybody's turn, if they've got another goal card, they can lay that down and now the goal went from being sleep and music to milk and cookies and yeah. so in one turn somebody could play that and so um and if they had multiple cards and they were able to play multiple cards then they could play change the goal twice in a turn because there's also new rule cards and so every time that you get a new <laughs> rule they stack and so you basically um, add that on there so like on this one it says you get to play four cards and so the original rule was draw one and play one well now the new rules are draw one and play four <laughs> and so and yep. not to mention that I see inflation here, which adds one to all the numbers. So <laughs> it's now draw two, play five. So Right. <laughs> that's crazy. And so that's how that they just stacks up. And so there's cards where you can take rules out or get rid of all the rules. There's, I mean, pretty much anything that you could possibly think of, they've got a rule, a goal, an action to do that. And so yeah. there's a lot of times where you could wipe the whole board and you're right back down to draw one, play one. And so you're playing this kind of luck-based game where you're hoping yeah. to get what the goal is, and but you're also seeing what cards you have in your hand. So you could have some keepers in your hand or some goals in your hand. And so you're trying to figure out, okay, I need to get the moon from him. And so I've got the moon now and I'll play it down. And then on my next turn, I'm gonna play the goal card uh, that involves the moon keeper and then you yeah. can win the game. So there's a little bit of strategy, but your strategy could be totally ruined uh, by whatever the other, what is it, two to six, the other five people at the table, by the time it gets back around to you, it could be totally different. Yeah, the game is in such a flux all the time <laughs> that uh, like your strategy is literally only um, possible on your turn. Like, on your turn. Because the, the, literally the next person that plays could change all the rules and everything, so it, there's no real point in like sitting there and strategizing, ooh, I'm going to do this and this and this, because mm -hmm. you, more than likely they're going to make you dump all your cards and you're going to have to pick up all new ones or something <laughs> like that anyways. So it doesn't so. matter. Yeah. yeah. And the game plays five to 30 minutes. So you could have a game where literally you deal the cards, somebody plays it, it comes back to your round, goal, Boom. it's done. Yeah. You know? Or it could be one that drags all the way to 30 minutes. And, uh, Which because, is highly unlikely. Yeah. I mean, the way, because once you start playing, everybody starts playing fast anyways. And somebody's going to get like one of those combinations, boom, where they've already got something out and they'll throw it and boom, they'll be mm -hmm. done. So the people that are going to love this game, the, I mean, you got to take this for what it is, right? It's 
not a deep strategy game at all. No. It's just light, it's fun, easy to teach, quick to teach. Like you just, the basic rules and then they learn as they go. So the game teaches you how to play. So this is a great game that you could play at a party type scenario or new gamers type uh, thing. Uh, but if you're looking for something really deep, it will drive you crazy because yeah. like it just changes. And so that, that would be the only negative that I'd say about this game is if you're, if you're looking for something that's strategic at all, this is not that game. No, it's not. So. But definitely play this for what it is, a party-based uh, card game. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about Flux, I would say, is if you like this style, they probably have a theme that matches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because there's like a kajillion different types of flux and so whatever theme that you like go look for it and they probably have it and that just makes the game that much more enjoyable because yeah. if you want a space theme a wizard of oz theme whatever a munchkin theme maybe i think a batman i know i saw one of <laughs> batman those. yeah batman they've got all different kinds of themes to this so whatever you, whatever it is that you're into it just makes it just a fun throw down some cards and laugh kind yeah. of game so Yep. Okay, so let's give a uh, a rating. There you go. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're being secretive. secretive. Yeah. Okay. So at the end of our reviews, we like to do a oh. one die. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I jumped the gun on that one. <laughs> so at the end of our reviews, we do a one die rating. Oh, should you buy it, play it, or, <laughs> or hate it? So green means go buy this game and add it to your collection. White means maybe you, uh, you wouldn't buy it, but you definitely play it. And then red means you wouldn't buy it and you wouldn't play it because you hate the game. So uh, we're going to put out our little <laughs> review and go to green. <laughs> so tell us why you gave it a green. Well, I mean, this game is what it says. It is. I mean, it's just a little party uh, card game. Yeah. It's, there's nothing more to it. You can literally place it down. You can you tell the, the next person um, that never played a game before. You just pick up this card and you play a card. That's you it. play a card. And it just goes from there. It's simple, quick, mm -hmm. easy. And to me, the reason I gave it a green is because of the themat the themes, the different versions that they have it. Because, like I said, you pick one you like and then you play it and it's mm -hmm. just that simple. And what we told you, the people that are going to give this a white or a red are the people that are looking for a lot more than what it is. So if that's yeah. not you, then you'll probably give it a white. You might play it, but you wouldn't love it. And then the people that will hate it are just the gamer gamers that don't want to spend any time doing doing this kind of thing so yeah if you like like uno or something like that <laughs> yeah you know, but but you're like man that that game was too violent or something like that <laughs> every always end up Draw hating four. each other <laughs> this one this one's better in that because it's more fun and luck based and like more action that, that happens yeah. in it but i mean there's a little take that and you know that's yeah well, like, yeah there's there's might definitely like steal your steal cards, your stuff. you know but it's not it's but it not changes brutal. so much it's so much in flux and you know in that yeah, who cares they yeah you're like oh i lost that card okay well i didn't even need that to win anyways here we go because yeah. my next hand is you know it's so because you could draw like five or ten cards or something and then play six cards it's it gets crazy yeah, so. All right, so that's our review of Flux. Uh, check it out and see if this game works for you. We got a lot more reviews on our website, boardgamecloset.com, or on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.